We've asked students, faculty, and community members to tell us what the collection means to them. My name is Anthony Badalka, and I am the author of 12 novels, all based in Saskatchewan. Nine of the 12 novels feature Saskatoon as a main setting and main characters who are LGBTQ+. I think, like most writers, I think of my books as my children. So for each book, you know, they're like a kid that you, you know, I, I created it, I cared for it, I molded it to be the best that it could be, and eventually I had to release it into the world, and you hope that the world treats it kindly. So to have my books in this collection is a very satisfying thing. I feel like my children have found a, a safe place to land, but more importantly, I feel that they have found their right place in history. It's a very good thing when you can have accounts of what's happening in the world or people's lives from as many different and diverse perspectives as possible. An important thing that this collection does is that it helps to improve the accuracy of history. Some sources may be inaccurate, they may be incomplete, they may be overly simplified, but when we tell our stories, and be it through fictional characters like I do in my books, biographies of queer people in our communities, be it through poetry or lyrics, all of these stories reflect a truth that acknowledges our roles and our importance in the history of our city, our province, our country. One of the wonderful things that a collection like this does is that it helps to capture the more intimate aspects of history. So how people fall in love, what makes them laugh, what makes them cry, what makes them angry, what makes them proud. All those tender and sweet and ugly and beautiful parts of life that a history book might miss. I think one of the most important purposes of a collection like this is that it allows us to look back. We all are standing on the shoulders of people who came before us who did important things. And to be able to look back and learn and understand is a powerful thing. And I think it teaches us to appreciate what we have, appreciate the important work that's been done, and perhaps maybe inspire us to do the same, to ask ourselves that question, what can we do? to improve the world and make it better for the next generation. A collection like this can be a really valuable resource for writers, but all writers come by their process and develop their product in different ways. Some of them like to do, you know, hard research on specific topics or a specific people or a specific times in history. Others like to just dig around and root around and find that little seed of inspiration or that little known fact that they just think to themselves like, wow, this could be turned into something kind of cool. Others like to really focus on history and study the history and determine whether they want to tell that story or make it contemporary. I think a collection that is strong, that is as diverse as possible, that's well organized, that's easily accessible, is an invaluable tool to writers.